Hey, babies. So this part of the vlog is from last, my last vlog. If you did not get to see that vlog when I spent time with my grandbabies, we went to different restaurants, please do so. Feel free to go back to the next vlog and watch that so you can be caught up on this vlog. Thank you for stopping by and let's jump right in to the new vlog. Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go now, and what you do Fucking real as you think in a dinner with the best girl One with his peace in the can I'm real blessed Can I be a breeze for the head of the penis Coolest breeze that me rock in a sleeveless Not like this Easy, 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 easy Y'all never be a big dick Okay, G-Babies Hey, hey Today is Sunday. I've been getting a whole lot of my daycare stuff ready for Georgia. I've been on my stuff at the daycare center I work at. I've been keeping up with my vlogs. I've been taking care of my business, paperwork, bills. I've been in my business. I ain't going to even just say bad. I've been in my business. So we about to get up out of here, run to the lab here, do a couple of little Sunday moves before the lab here and stuff close. So right now what I'm wearing is, I have on my black wig from You Nice that I'm starting to wear too much. I'm getting a wig, but ain't no self-sabotaging. I'm looking good, baby. So your grandmama got on her You Nice Bob wig. I have on my rainbow heart pendant chain. I have on my uh, two-piece Burgundy set I got in Chicago at a big boutique in um in Roseland for like forty dollars. I got the white bra showing a little bit because the shirt kind of too little, so I'm doing it like it's a fashion statement, baby. And then it matched the white Prada Duke boots. So I got on this little gold belt I got from the Metropolitan Discount Mall in Georgia. Um, and I, I got all my Duke Prada boots. I got up out of that as well. So, Grandmama Big Stapper, we about to bust a couple of moves, moves. Come go with me to the stove. Come go with me to the library. Let's do this Sunday day together. Before we go, let me show you the purse I'm wearing. I'm wearing this black Gucci Duke bag. Cause grandma, she a stepper. Can't move by hey, hey, hey. Step in the name of love. Let me see you do the love slide. Then with that, I'm gonna wear, if it gets a little chilly, this little burgundy jacket. Okay, it's just a little bitty nippy. So, Grandmama step up. Yes, she is. She put it on. She puts it on. And I got this perfume from Rue 21. It's called Icon. They $10. Smell really pretty. So, let's, let's go. Let's go to Labby. In a quarter mile at the traffic circle, take the first exit onto Sandtown Road Southwest. Hey, baby. Hey, babies. I hate to uh, try to record while I'm in the car because I don't know my way around Georgia. And the GPS lady always jumping in. So, excuse me. I'm saying I apologize for her right now. Uh, but... I'm the, I'm, I, I turned the end my uh, player card. I'm no longer dating. I'm no longer dating. 
In a quarter mile, turn right onto Powder Springs Street. Okay, you guys. So we just made it to our first location. I didn't go to the library first. So I'm sorry about that for the misdirections. But we made it out here to at home because I'm going to finish doing a little something to that room from a couple of vlogs ago. So if you didn't see that vlog, go back in about two or three vlogs back. I uh, was cleaning up my room or whatever. So I just was want to tell y'all, I throw in my uh, dating card. I throw it in. I, I, I've been out here. <laughs> And I done went on a hundred thousand dates and I don't like it and I don't like how it looks and I don't like how it feels and I don't like how all these men I, I've been meeting every I know that's a man's job to want to date a lady and sleep with a lady because men are horny you know what I'm saying women be horny too but men are a little bit hornier but um I I um uh, I could take myself on dates so Everywhere we'll be going, we'll be going together. Cause nah, because after I be dating them, we'll go out to eat. They be telling us, well, do you want to come to my house? No, sir. I'm proud of you though, sir. That you got your own house. I'm proud of you, sir. But no, um, I don't want to see your house. No, I do not. And no, and no, and no. So y'all won't be seeing me going on any more dates. No time soon. So I'm about to get ready to go up in this. We about to get ready to go up in this. Excuse this lash. It's all extra ugly and crazy. Yeah. But we about to go up into this um at home store right quick. And um see could we find something to help decorate this room. So let's go. Let's get on up out of here. But I thought when the towel for the dating game, I'm I've been celibate like ten months, longer, eleven months. So I ain't thinking about that stuff. I'm too old anyway. I'm trying to figure out how to run this money up. So let's run this money up. Let's run this money up. Yeah, I remember um I met this man at Dodge and he put me up on the little bar docks. So I'm about to go up in there, 
Have me a cocktail. Give me some of them wings to go in to eat there. Listen to the little music for Sunday. Sunday fun day. And like I said, I won't be dating no more. You won't. We won't be going on no more dates. Um, because all that stuff that the they've been taking me to, I can take myself. I appreciate each and every one of them. But no, I don't like how they all invite me back to their home. Want to invite me to their homes? I don't know. Um, it's moving a little too fast for me, and all that I could do for myself. So. So I won't be indulging in no more dates. So I'm going up in here. We're going up in docks and get us some wings. Enjoy the music. Then get out of here and go finish doing what I need to do. I need to go to Ross with TJ Maxx. That's a big Yui, 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 Yui. Okay. So let's go. Enjoy the vibe. Maybe she was a pool or something. I think I got a little something, something, but I think they be in here gambling for it, so I don't think they gonna want me in the way. Plus, I don't know, it's a it's a ratio difference between women and men right now. And I think the um I think the women are outnumbering the men. And so the men feel like if they meet you and buy you a um a burger or something, that do you want to go to their house and have Netflix and chill? And no, I do not want to go to your house and have no Netflix and chill. And maybe uh, if we would have been vibing, I could have took you out to eat. Men ain't the only one with money out here. Now, females holding the bag. And I don't mind treating, a, treating a, nobody to no food just to have a good conversation and good laughter. It don't have to be, come after I buy you something to drink or something, I want you to go to my house and Netflix and chill. Because that ain't what it's about. It's about getting to know people. But since it's a racial difference in the men and the women nowadays, it's no getting to know nobody. You get to know them in the bed first, and then you get to know them about what's their real name and what they like in life and who they are. They marry them. It's just too much fugazi out here for me. So I'm just, I don't want to be close to nobody cocks. I have surely got a dent in my car. So let me back up. It might not be much, but it's mine, it's like, and this, and this, and this, this 2019 Dodge Caravan been working just fine for me. And it was working fine for my business. So <clears throat> we'll just pull up and um, go, go chill out. Enjoy y'all Sunday. But nah, I ain't no more dates. <clears throat> nah, I ain't no more dates. No, nah, oh, hell no. Nah. No, nah, not at all. Oh, no. Nah. So I get to know me. I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of, I'm, I'm in the middle of finding myself again. So, all right, let's go. Okay, and we is all I did was stretch, okay? And Valentine's Day I had sex, okay? We'll see what's about to happen next, okay? Okay, okay, we'll see what's about to happen next, okay? Okay. Today, the liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. A boss is a road that I've grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I hey, yeah, I got one lawyer, got one in that day. The only two, man. How many times have I told you the truth, man? How many nights I've been woke, swerving them potholes, not trying to fuck up the wheels or fuck up the deals. I'm posted in stock home. It's me, the house, and the twins. It's only the real. I'm moving way too humble. Easy and handed it off. I still got no fumbles. I'm on a hot 100. Numero uno. This one ain't come with a bundle. I'm in the wind. A million in chocolate chips. And that's your time my cookie crumble. I put a skirt on the whip and a crown on the... So I'm leaving Doc's bar. <clears throat> I enjoyed myself. I just went and had a little drink. I didn't even finish the drink. And I went and got me 10 wings. Them got to be the best wings in the world. Um, but I'm about to go home because I got so much paperwork to do. I should go out this way. Oh, okay, let's come at me. I got so much paperwork to do for my Chicago stuff. I just been they came to Atlanta and started working for this lady and putting all her business before my own business. That don't make sense what I've been doing. So I took I took my life back. Um, 
and this weekend I really dedicated it to my own business. And I just came out the house to go get get something out of at home so I can finish this room when I go back in. So I'm gonna finish this room when I go back in, and then I'm going to um then I'm going to um well we're gonna finish this room when I get back in the house, and then we're gonna uh, work on. What we're gonna do, we're gonna, um, sorry, after I finish the room, we're gonna, uh, get back to this paperwork. Who would crap ain't about now? So, I'll see you in a minute. I'll see you guys in Give it all you got. Okay, guys. So, we made it back home. I'm so proud of myself. I made a vow to myself that I'm gonna start back focusing on my, my, my daycare, that I had shut down and move here. That's not acceptable. It's a, it's a blessing to be able to work for somebody at her center, but this is something that God gave me, like God gave her that. God gave me my home daycare so I can bless others with, with my business. Families could bring their kids to my daycare for me to take care of them. So I cut Sunday short because I've been getting back on my paperwork for trying to open up a daycare here in Atlanta, for trying to find a new house here in Atlanta and get out this apartment because it was like infested. We got the infestation down, finds the mice and stuff. But after, after a while, it be just time to grow. So this was the first apartment I got when I moved here. So it's time to elevate and I'm about to elevate. I'm only doing things that's gonna make me elevate. So I, I told myself uh, to keep down too much pressure on me. No more no more going on dates. God put me in a position where I can afford to take myself out to eat and I can probably bless them through others and that's a blessing and I would love to be a blessing to others. But I won't be dating anymore. I had fun, it was, it was good to meet good people that could show you around Georgia and just get to meet new people. But at this point in time in my life, you guys, I'm going to start back focusing on the blessings that God gave me, which one of them is my daycare. So I'm going to take a trip to Chicago this week. I'm going to drive up there because when I fly, I have to rent a car and all that. So I'm just going to drive up there, use my vehicle, drive up there, take care of all my, all my paperwork, uh, pass out flyers, get back on my grind, and then come back here. And um, it should be time to move out this apartment. So I, I uh, went to I went to Doc's and had a, a cocktail and ten wings, barbecue wings. If you ever in the um, Smyrna area, Doc's is a little bar. I stay up until four in the morning, so it's kind of like an after hour, I guess. So once everything closed, you can always go to Doc's. It's in the Smyrna Smyrna Georgia area. And you can get a good drink. They pour some good liquor. But I knew that my night was coming to an end. So I came home to finish decorating this room. Me and you guys, let's finish decorating this room. And um, I'm gonna hit the paperwork before I call it a night and get up and go to work at this ladies daycare center. Um, I, I give everything my all when I do it. So you can't judge me just by me going on dates and the weekend because the weekdays consist of me being on my business. So I believe in if you work real hard, you play harder. So right now, um, all the playtime is over. I'm just gonna work real hard. So by the summertime, I could be going on nice vacations and stuff. I should be in my new house with my new business and also my other business. So I'm just praying and manifesting that all things will work out in my favor. No self-sabotaging over here. No speaking down on me. Uh, everything I touch will grow. I manifest it. So let's get to this room decorating. Let's go ahead and put these pictures on the wall. I got these uh, two Chanel pictures. Got this out of at home. It was $19.99. Cute. I got it really for the little gold. To bring out the little gold in this bed. I still haven't got a TV yet. We'll be getting there. I think I might wait till I move into my new house. Just use this room to study and sleep. Got 
Got the matching one for the other side of the wall. Okay, so this is the little touches I put on the bed since the last video. So as you can see, I added these two red flowers. They were in my bathroom to complement the Chanel pictures on the wall. And I also added that brown pillow in the middle just to give it more brown feeling but i'm gonna add some more pillows that you like sleep on behind it just to give it more mm. this is a king size bed i took the top headboard off the last time and this little table i added okay that's the little candle that i just bought it let it lights for six hours and then i just put the other candle in here from family dollar just so to smell good I added that little shade on the lamp and I got this little prayer. I add brung it in here as well to give it more of a bring out the red pop, pop out the red color. So this is how it looks. Okay, this is the look with the lights turned off. It's giving comfortable vibes, very much so. And this is how it looks if you were laying in the bed with the fireplace going. It's giving comfortable vibes. Lay back and study vibes. So, I'm about to go get on this computer, edit some videos, do my work, my paperwork, and I'll check back in with you guys before I call it a night and say my prayers. But this is how the room looks with the lights off. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, it can't be replaced.